I shorted at $13 a share. I think it had, it was multi-hundred million dollar market cap, probably like $300 million. It was insane, but it kept going up. Day after day after day. One day the stock went from 23 to 28, uh, but ended up losing somewhere between 90,000 and 100,000 dollars on that. invested in, I'm going back a ways here, uh, was a company called U.S. Wind Farming. It looked like a great company. Uh, and uh, then I googled the CEO, found out he was uh, had spent some time in prison, and uh, then learned that uh, he was, uh, yeah, not a good guy. And uh, six months later, the company was sued by the SEC. Uh, the SEC alleged that uh, everything the company had said was a lie, and that they were they had no contracts that they had said they had. They uh, had no real business and that they were just, uh, the SEC alleged that they were just uh, promoting their stock so that they could sell shares. And uh, <laughs> that from that from that beginning, I said, okay, well, this is interesting. I mean, understanding how our stock promotion works, it's like, okay, well, somebody's promoting the stock because it's not a good co company. It's not a good stock. They have a lot of shares that they want to sell. So that, tells me the uh, supply and demand, that there's more supply than there is demand. And if I can just get along the right side of that trade, if I could short these things, that would be great. And it wasn't until a couple years later that uh, I learned that you could short those. And that was after I had tried many different kinds of trading and uh, done uh, all sorts of different things that didn't work. Options trading, trading liquid stocks like Apple, uh, just scalping for pennies. And uh, then I did some algorithmic swing trading, which required doing a lot of trades with small positions, got an account at Interactive Brokers, and uh, then randomly in the summer of 2007, I looked up one uh, promoted stock uh, that I saw mentioned in, uh, I think it was Forbes, uh, this uh, the Forbes Informer uh, column, and I said, hey, I wonder if I can short this. So I didn't think you could actually short OTC stocks, I uh, looked it up, typed it into Interactive Brokers, and found out I sh could short it. So I shorted it. And then I kept doing the same thing with uh, similarly promoted stocks, and uh, over the next seven months, made a good deal of money. Uh, somewhere in the low six figures, I don't remember exactly how much, but uh, you know, definitely over $100,000, which was really good money for somebody who had been uh, in grad school. And uh, <laughs> getting by on my uh, $17,000 a year stipend, uh, which isn't bad when you're going to school and getting paid to actually go to school. But uh, so I, I left grad school at the time. I was also working uh, with a friend's startup company, helping to run that, but I was doing that from home, uh, taking a lot of phone calls, and that really didn't interfere with my trading uh, too much. So uh, I could just look for the newly pr newest promoted stock and uh, short it and just hold and then they all eventually dropped because as soon as the stock promotion ends there's nobody left to buy the stock because nobody's buying it because it's a good company they're buying it because it's being advertised and uh, then i found uh, and what i kept doing is i kept buying uh taking bigger positions and bigger positions all my profits from the last one and put into the next one and uh, that's a great thing if you want to grow your capital really fast or risk you know, destroying your entire account. <laughs> uh, both things, it works m multiple ways. Uh, so there's this one uh, stock that I, I thought was promoted and uh, I don't know if it ever was a paid promotion, uh, but it was really overvalued and had very little actual of a business. Uh, MXFD, it was something with uh, uh, not ex actually viaticals, but uh, selling like life insurance policies of uh, uh, sick or old people. And uh, I said, okay, I'm going to short this. This is going to drop. It'll be great. And I shorted at $13 a share. I think it had, it was multi-hundred million dollar market cap, probably like $300 million. It was insane. And the stock wasn't that liquid, but it kept going up. Day after day after day, I said, okay, I can hold through whatever. And then around the time the stock hit $26 a share, and this <laughs> is when I have, I started with about a $90,000 position, at 13 
Uh, and uh, I get a forced buy-in at Interactive Brokers, which means they say, hey, uh, you know, you have this short stock position. You, you borrowed the shares to sell them, and then you promised to buy them back. Well, we can't borrow them anymore, so you need to buy them back right now. And one day, the stock went from 23 to 28, and that was a one-man short squeeze. That was me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and, you know, lost, uh, I think, half of my account, uh, or not, sorry, uh, about uh, half of that position I closed, and uh, I had to close because of that forced buy-in, and then the rest I closed not that much later, maybe a little bit lower. Uh, but ended up losing somewhere between 90000 and and $100,000 on that, uh, which, you know, it's a little painful. And uh, that was also the time that I, uh, right around the time I quit my uh, day, so-called day job, which wasn't really making much money, but I quit that to go trading full-time, uh, which was a bit of a, uh, you know, bummer to start with such a negative thing. But uh, in, in the meantime, you know, right before that, I had a uh, $100,000 or nearly $100,000 winner on a different short, uh, it was uh, uh, it was actually a real company, not even a promoted stock. I don't think it was just what wildly overvalued and way overextended. Uh, called LSCG Lighting Science Group, uh, and they're still around. I think they might be on the Nasdaq uh, now. They make LEDs, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, lost money on that one. And then uh, I said, okay, I need to uh, get more. I need to get better at timing this stuff. Uh, and, be, and because with several other uh, smaller short positions, I got forced buy-ins as well. Uh, this was around the time uh, that uh, the great financial crisis, as we call it, uh, was starting. So Bear Stearns had gone uh, kaput, I think in February, and uh, then the SEC started enforcing regulation SHO, which regulation of, of short sales, a lot tighter, which meant that if there were fails to deliver, it's, it's very technical, I don't want to get into the <laughs> technical uh, stuff about short sales, but uh, it, if you borrow the shares, you sell them, uh, you need to actually have borrowed them, but brokers would let you do that without actually borrowing the shares. And a lot of brokers got into trouble for that, had to pay fines to the SEC, and uh, but the end result is that all the brokers, uh, including IB, they got a lot more uh, aggressive about doing forced buy-ins, so it was a much bigger risk that I'd get forced to close my position when the stock had not uh, dropped uh, and I had a loss, so I, I started looking to uh, time my uh, trades better, and uh, it was around that time that I found Tim Sykes, and uh, uh, as uh, he had said, uh, I had my, uh, uh, I was his first uh, good hater, I'm, and uh, first successful student too, uh, so I, I wrote this blog post about him, and I said, hey, uh, I, I think there's a lot of problems with this. I think that this strategy is not going to work uh, in the long run. The more people he tries to teach, it's going to make it not work. And uh, there's all these crazy risks uh, to it. But, uh, you know, I gave it a try anyway. I bought his book and uh, uh, signed up for uh, Tim Alerts and bought his uh, uh, first DVD, Penny Stocking, uh, back in May t 2008. I was one of the first... Uh, uh, members of Tim Alerts, along with Tim Bowen here, yep, yep. and uh, I was able to uh, start trading more, doing more day trading, still trading a lot of the pump and dumps, but uh, uh, I was uh, trading them a lot more short term uh, with a shorter time horizon and avoiding a lot of the risks of the forced buy-ins that I had uh, been uh, uh, trading. Hey, Tim Sykes, millionaire, mentor, and trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I want to share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there. And also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge, and become my next millionaire student.